What's going on everyone? It's me, Candice Shredding, and today we are going to be doing a mukbang. I have got a delivery from this place called Inaki. It's in Delhi, based in Delhi. Um, it's absolutely amazing. It's like, fr it's a fresh Asian kitchen. And yeah, we're gonna try it. Um, so let's get into this video. All right. So, I think this is dessert. Uh, this is dessert. Okay, this is Hong Kong style chicken. Me and this non vegetarian thing. Alright, this is Hong Kong style chicken. I think what I might actually have to do is put you guys a little higher so you can see what the hell is going on. Alright, hang on. Alright, basically, we're gonna try and just gonna eat everything. Alright, this is Chinatown Hakka noodles, vegetarian. Alright. And then we have, this is wontons in soy chili vinegar. Oh, it smells yummy. Okay, so there's actually like a lot of food, like this is dessert. Then there is more. I think I'm gonna need this. And then we'll just put that there. All right, we got some sushi. Sushi! All right, and then, oh, all right. So this is really cool about this brand and I just wanted to like highlight why I've been eating. Well, it's not that I've been eating out. I'm very paranoid and yes, I did Taco Bell and that day I was so stupid to order out. And then I got to thinking like the world has to continue. Like we cannot like not eat out. So Inaki has this really cool thing that they do from beginning to the end of you ordering. So your chef, so they'll give you like your chef's body temperature. They'll give you the food packing guy's temperature. So yeah, the chef body's temperature is at 99.1 um, degrees Fahrenheit. Food packaging guys at 99. Delivery guy's temperature was at 90. 8.1 so yeah Inaki does this so you kind of know exactly who's packing your food what's the temperature like how's it coming and then what I also noticed amongst all these other things they sent is I'm actually not, um, they send like hand sanitizers right that's so cute so so cute all right so I suppose we'll use one of these because you know we just cute like that <clears throat> Sanitized. Yeah, that's gonna be it. I actually should have like got a drink with this, but I suppose we'll do water today. You know? Alrighty, so let's get into this. Oh, it's hot up in here. Come on, Dyson. Come through. I hope you can't hear the sound of the Dyson now. Hi. So, sorry, there's just a lot of food. I, we were supposed to be two people, as I was saying earlier. And if I didn't mention it, we were supposed to be two people. But um, my friend wasn't feeling too good, so we were just like, let's not. Okay. So, this is... Should we have a little read and see what's on this menu? Alright, on this menu today is... Californian four pieces box. I don't know. I think that's that. That's that, right? No. Yeah. Yeah, that's that. Maybe I should open it and then you guys can see it. Um, oh, yay. Um, so much happening. Okay. Oh, this looks so good. Look how yummy that looks. Oh. All right. And then there's this. So... I mean, that's a lot of food for one little girl. Thumbnail. Okay, anyway, now that that's done, I suppose that this is a lot of unwrapping, you know? It's nice when there's more than one person because then you don't have to unwrap so much. This is some... Oh, it's chilly, no wonder why. Chili, chili, and I don't know what this is. I like Asian takeaway places. They seem to give you a lot. It's like a variety. Like they really want you to have like a great time picking. I don't know what this. They really want you to have a great time. So I don't know what this is for. 
What could this be for? What is this? So this is like this and it's like crunchy, right? What does it go with? Should we just try it? Yay! I don't know what it is, but it's crunchy and I feel like it could go really nicely with something. Mmm, crunchiness. Mmm. I really want to try it with something. Oh, okay, then this is so confusing again. Um, this is like this. What would it go with? Oh, I don't know what it goes with. This is so confusing for me. Oh, I don't like so many options. It's just such a basic bitch. <laughs> Definitely not. All right, so we have a little bit of soya and we have some. Let's do the sushi first. I feel like that always just works out better. Yeah. <clears throat> so, guys, I will link Inaki down below. You guys can totally reach out and do whatever you want to do. Their menu is absolutely amazing. I feel like you should just order and try everything. Okay, so what we're going to try first is probably. You know, I should have actually just got like a decent soy bowl for this. But. Yeah, we're gonna try it. So this I'm guessing is the four piece Californian rom basic. I'm like, okay. So I honestly feel like I'm a really good food critic because I like really really like food and I don't know, am I the only person that puts like wasabi inside of my like soya and I'm like mozzarella? Yeah, get in there, girl. All right. I won't lie. You could have given me way more soy. So, this is what is inside of it. I think it's crab or prawn or something. This little bowl is going to have to be changed. Oh, it's fresh. It's yummy. Okay. This is going to be the... This bad boy is a... Fiery salmon eight-piece buff. Okay, I don't know why I keep repeating how many pieces are in it. I'm sure we can all see. Mmm. It's good. Mmm. It's really good. So... Today, I want to talk about something and um, I know there's a lot of people that are stuck all over the world and I'm one of them. Not that I'm stuck, yes, it is my home, but um, I'd rather like be at home right now because I don't feel like it's getting better out here. Um, and who doesn't want to be with their family during this time, right? So. I've just been thinking a lot about like my family and, and how I'm away from them during this time and um, like you know people are like oh like I live alone it's like yeah but you know you can also just get in the car and go see your mom and your grandma and stuff and your dad and your brothers and sisters I mean I can't so it's been really tough to be dealing with um, the ups and downs of being in quarantine, oh. not having any work because you know, don't think the governments care about the entertainment industry very much. So, I just don't know why they keep collecting our taxes if they don't think that we're important enough. But you want our money, but you can't like have our backs. Mmm, cute government. Shoot me, it's pathetic to be honest. Um, yeah, so being away from home sucks um is this a crab or is this a prawn i think this one's a crab this is a crab oh it's gonna break hang on you're gonna oh so lame like oh. goodness i'm not in japan mm. oh, it sucks mm. and then And then also South Africa is just so beautiful. No. 
Yeah, India is beautiful. I mean, Gurgaon isn't that beautiful. And anyone that lives in Gurgaon is like, it's so beautiful! Are you. must be on some good ass shit for that. But, um, and I think being at, being in the same place, like, I'm never home for more than four. More than, like, I was gonna say four something, but no. I've never been in this house constant, consistently so long. So, people tend to go crazy. I mean, if you guys want to tell me, what have you guys been into so busy during this? Like, what do you do when you feel like everything is coming to an end or everything's cracking up? Or, I mean, I don't even know what it is. It's every day I just feel like something's happening and it's so damn confusion. So I have a feeling this video is going to be really long because there's a lot of food to eat. I really like this. I mean, I like this one too. I mean, uh, mm, it's yummy. For some reason, this is not caviar, even though some people think it's caviar. It's some kind of egg, though, but it's not caviar. But it's some kind of. Oh, I love how it pops in your mouth. So everyone that knows me knows I'm like a caviar freak. Like I love it. I absolutely love it. I like this one. Um, my best friend and I, we always go. And my dad and I. Oh my god, we eat so much sushi when we're together. We're like, mmm. Oh, okay. My nose starts running sometimes, whenever I eat. I don't know, is that weird? It's like the food suffocating me. I mean, what the sniff in your nose and food suffocating you have to do together and absolutely nothing. But, whatever. Should we eat this? So young. So yeah, I wanna go home. <clears throat> I think that's more of the story. Um, I think I've also just been so blessed to like have people around me to help me. Um, wherever I have been living in, wherever I've lived in the world, there's always been, I've never really been alone, alone, alone. And I mean, when you have work, you're not technically alone because you're working. So it's like, you're not alone, you're with your work, so it's different. Hmm. And when you're all alone, you learn, you learn to think a lot more. I'm going to eat next. I just feel like there's so much food! Um. Alright, I'm going to try this. I think this is good. I keep seeing things in my house. All right, this is a chicken soy chili wonton. I thank you. Do I eat the whole thing at once? Um, oh yeah. The chili will come through. Yummy. It's really good. I don't think I could eat too many of these. They, they feel very heavy. So, I think if you want something really filling, this is going to be your thing. One times are quite heavy. <clears throat> so, moving on. Oh, I love ginger. It's just, what am I doing? Um, yeah, so this is not your place. One other thing. See, I'm just gonna like jump from like topic to topic and then like jump back and then jump forward again because you know, like, who needs consistency in this inconsistent world? Inconsistent, inconsistent world. Unconsistent. What am I saying? All right. 
yummy. It seems like full of rice. Yeah. <laughs> Just break it up. So Inaki does like a contactless delivery. So basically, you don't need to meet anybody. You don't need to touch it. They just deliver and you pick it up. And you pick it up. Um, also, they've been following like the WHO health guidelines for food and safety. So that's always good to know. I won't lie. I don't think the WHO really knows what the f*** is saying. Because we wouldn't be in such a dire straits if they weren't taking money from China. But I mean, like these are just my views. <clears throat> and so many other people. But moving forward swiftly, because I actually like China. Like, I don't have a big grudge against China. I love China. I've been there. It's amazing. Had a great time. Learned so much. Learned no Chinese. But life's good. You know what I mean. <laughs> um, mm. So funny, when we live in China, you only use chopsticks when you're in China. Only. For everything. You even eat your soup. Chop, chopsticks. Not even kidding. Now I'm moving. Okay, I need to. I'll have more of this. This one, I will, I'm gonna have to try. <clears throat> I've had a lot of sushi for right now, so I'm thinking to try something a little different. This is, come on, second. Thank goodness for these long ass arms. Yeah. All right. I think a lot of people like Chinese food in India and there's even like Indo-Chinese here so Indo-Chinese would be like I don't know once I saw um, like noodles with like buttered chicken and I was just like oh, that's just too much that's just too much all right I think that's enough I can't be eating like so so much just because it just won't fit inside um <clears throat> all righty so this is Kung Pao chicken bowl. Yeah, that's what it is. And then I just threw it away now so we won't be able to read what anything else is. Yes! Oh my gosh, how I really wish I could have some tequila and soda. Like just double shot of tequila on the rocks, splash of soda, squiggle of lime, spits of lime, whatever it's called. Mm. Alrighty, so this is, and what kind of noodle is this? This is a veg haka noodle, like a basic veg haka noodle. Alrighty, let's go for it. You know what's so funny? Because I don't really eat spicy food that much. Oh, yum! Mmm. That soy comes through. I wonder if they use a the dark soy and then cook it down to make it sweet again. Or... Or... By the way, my chopsticks look so gross. Like, so gross. Like, honestly. My mother would be so disappointed. All right. All right. So, yeah. Anyway, Inaki, guys. It's absolutely amazing. Um, I really wish I got a juice, though, or something. Like, a juice or something from them. Um, <clears throat> but, yeah, they're really amazing. I've been getting food. Oh, you know what you should try from this place? One of my favorite things from this place. It's called a... It's called a salmon pork bowl. So damn good. Honestly, so delicious. Um, I suppose we each have our own things that we like, right? So. That's yum. This is really yum. Have they like... Have they fried it before cooking it? I mean, fried, no, fried it before they put it in this dish? I don't know, but it's really yummy. And someone that doesn't even like chicken to say it's yummy. I mean, it's yummy. Um, one thing about if you needed to break something in China, you had to either use your lips or pray your, stop, your chopstick knew how to chop. Mmm. <clears throat> Yum. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. So yummy. 
I know a few people that are also stuck in India, by the way. Now we're going back, so you'll see we'll do half of like Inoki, half of like what I really want to talk about, and then like half of Inoki, and now we're gonna go back to the dumbest thing about Inoki, so everybody get your food. Mm. So good. Um, so I know a few people that I realize are stuck, not stuck here, but whatever, the expat community lives here, and this is like their home. And then during this, we all thought, okay, cool, we'll stay, and we'll ride it out, and we'll see what will happen. And now a lot of us want to leave and go back to our countries, everyone from like, everyone from all over the place, like, I don't want to, like, I haven't really asked them if I could talk about them on film, so I'm just, like, not going to, but I have friends from, like, Africa, Saudi countries, um, Romania, China, where else, America, a lot of people are stuck, right, so, and they all had faith in the system, yeah, but the system has failed the people tremendously and people who don't want to talk about it and people that are like oh no it hasn't like yes it has like your, your, your government has failed you and this is the time when I feel like we need our government more than anything you know even Donald Trump provided for every single class within his system in the country even Donald Trump could do it so it makes you think, you know, well, it makes me think, to be honest. Okay, hands down, this chicken was good. And this is dessert. Mmm. That's so rude. It's so good. Um, <clears throat> this is really yummy. Um, I'm so glad that I am a single person because the amount of garlic in you, I'm like, honey, you better eat it too. Mm. So, going home, you know what I've been thinking? I've been wondering if they would lock me in... Um, if they would not lock me, but if they would put me in a government quarantine, or if I'd be allowed to self-quarantine, um, what is this all like? So important. I have a feeling a government quarantine in South Africa. Oh my gosh, how terrible could that be? Actually, not that bad. But, not bad as India. And I mean, I love India, but how can you tell people that are potentially sick to live in a place where monkeys are like coming in and like attacking them and snakes? I even read a story where the one doctor molested one coronavirus COVID patient. I was just like, hello? What the f***? Anyway. So I'm scared of these things. These are the things I think about. Like, I think I've even got to the point where I'm like, okay with getting COVID because I feel like it's a matter of time now. And the more we think that we are above COVID and will never get us, it's just like, not that stupid, you know? So, I just feel like having antibodies will be like a visa moving forward, you know? Like, hey, do I want to come to your country. Have you had COVID? Yes. Have you got antibodies? Yes. Okay, cool. We'll grant you a visa. See that? It's like that. It's like a. Oh, it's like a yummy thing. I only eat chocolate the day before I saw my period. Yeah. I eat a lot of that. It's just so sweet. But it's so yummy. I'm more of like a tarty person, like I like custard. Custard and custard. 
custom and custom, I think that works. Anyway. Oh my word, guys. I really would like to sit here and be like Trisha Paytas and eat every little thing in front of me. But then I would also look like Trisha Paytas. And I'm too small to look like Trisha Paytas. So <clears throat> maybe I should just take a little break. You know, I have to take a rest every now and then. My God! Hi, Mush. What can I give you from here? You eat absolutely nothing from here. I love you. Come here. Come to me. Come to your mother. Come here. Oh, cutie day! You everywhere, aren't you? Right? Machine has got to get neutered in the next 10 days. It's so funny, like now that I'm leaving, I'm planning on leaving for maybe like four months, right? I think that four months is a good time to go there because you also now have to spend two weeks in quarantine and then be able to go see my family. And then also <clears throat> do some work out there and also just see if we can get the other company, the hair company up and running. But point being is life is so different now. I'm just tired of doing this COVID thing alone. I really want to do it with my family. I really want to do it with people that I love unconditionally and want nothing from me. You know, this is kind of what I want to, where I want to be spending my time, you know. I, mean, I miss them so much. Like people think like, oh yeah, but you live away. Like you must be detached. It's like, no, it's just, I like business. So, and making money and stuff, so. And unfortunately, that is, these opportunities aren't, um, they're not that available in South Africa. Like, let's get real. Um, yeah, that's that. Anyway, guys, check out Inaki. It's so damn good. And make sure you have a big ass fan to check all this food with. Because now I'm going to have to invite over my neighbor. So that he can have some food because I won't be able to finish all of this. Um, anyway, it's been so good chatting to you guys. What have you guys been up to? How are you guys feeling? Hope you're all being safe and sound. I know, I know people around me <clears throat> that have been affected by COVID directly that have COVID or um, like my best friend's ex-girlfriend got COVID and she we spoke to her on the phone and I mean she's a smoker she good news is she survived she's good everything's good she's coming through but I do think it's starting to creep into our lives on a more personal level you know um, you're gonna hear of people that you know that get COVID and someone might not survive from COVID and it's now trickling into a massive and um, personal parts of our history you know we will look at this and hopefully we'll be looking back at it sooner than later and being like, wow, like, <clears throat> can you believe this happened? Still can't believe it. Still feel like I'm dreaming. Oh, sorry, I drink a lot of water while I eat. But it's just so that let's fill it up. We'll finish this glass before the close off. I mean, oh! <clears throat> it's a lot of food they sent me two boxes for this little girl thank you so much for joining me give a thumbs up to this video if you like asian food if you like asian food give it a massive thumbs up so that i know comment and let me know what's your favorite kind of sushi if you eat sushi and if not what is your favorite is do you prefer wontons or do you prefer dim sum i hope they're fucking different they better be because otherwise i'm just gonna get it all right guys thank you so much for joining me i hope you guys have a lovely week ahead happy monday everybody happy life wash your hands wash your feet and i'll see you in the next video